Okay, nine is configured for flight. As the countdown began nine. for Sunday SpaceX nine. launch. I'm, I'm actually a little bit out of the way, so I think I can take my mask off, at least temporarily. So. By FaceTime, I found a North Texan in the Kennedy Space Center crowd who also happens to be one very proud dad. Uh, that would, yeah, that would be an understatement. <laughs> my, my chest is sticking out probably about two miles. <laughs> and... Uh, and just, yeah, just the ecstatic about this moment in time. And, because and, for this historic point. moment in time, for Victor Glover Sr. of Prosper, Texas, that's his son and namesake in the pilot seat. Victor Glover, a commander in the U.S. Navy, F-18 Super Hornet pilot in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and now on his way to become the first black resident of the International Space Station. I saw a shuttle launch when I was in elementary school. And I thought, I really want to fly that. This interview, shortly after he was selected as a NASA astronaut. To motivate and inspire the next generation of our science and, techn and technology workforce is one of the best parts of this job for me. I learned to stop doubting him long, long time ago when he started accomplishing everything he kept saying he would accomplish. Now he's, he's an astronaut and he's sitting over there in that capsule waiting to take off and I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by it all. Godspeed, resilience. Glover is part of an international mission. Their 28-hour trip has them scheduled to dock with the ISS at 10 o'clock on Monday night, just the start of a six-month stay before they return to Earth next April. And when they do, Victor Glover's wife and daughters will be there to greet him to celebrate his latest otherworldly accomplishment. That is, if a proud dad from Prosper doesn't race through the crowd to hug him first. He knows how much I truly, truly love him how much I am so, so very proud of him. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.